Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Meg from MegFord.com and this video is all about clever kitchen hacks. So I am a self-proclaimed minimalist and I really like to simplify my life. I designed and uh, sort of half built this kitchen um, over the last year. I had saved up for many years to be able to do this and I'm so excited to share with you. Go check out my other videos that shows like the whole process, that shows the before and after, and then of course like some of the organization and stuff like that. So this video is going to be about little kitchen hacks, ways that I designed the kitchen, and little things that maybe you can incorporate into your own kitchen to just make your life easier, right? So. Here's a little quick tour of the kitchen. Here is the dining room. We've got a little coffee bar section over there. And then here is the actual kitchen. I have the dehumidifier in here because it's getting a little humid. It's been raining every day. But we've got the stove, the fridge, the sink, and then pantry storage. One of the things that I'm so glad we did inside of this kitchen was to put the microwave in this place. I feel like microwaves, um, if they're not above the stove, which we couldn't do because there's a window, they kind of just sit on the counter and they take up counter space. And I really want my counter space to feel like open and clean and like sweeping and I can put lots of stuff on it. So we put it into the cabinetry. As you can see, this is a Sharp. I actually got it on Amazon, I'll put a link for it. But this is the little control panel, open, and it slides out like a drawer. It was so easy to install when we got the cabinets and everything. They were like, yeah, that's fine as long as it's this many inches. And I was like, perfect, that's what all of them online were. So I knew that it would like fit in perfectly. So they built the cabinetry and then we had a plug behind it, plugged in the microwave, slid it in, screwed it four times on each side and that was it. And it works amazing. I love it so much. I love also the fact that it is like kind of tucked away like to the side. I also love that it's right next to the dining room because if you like warm something up, you just like turn around and you sit down and you eat it. So that's uh, one little kitchen hack. Another kitchen hack I wanted to talk about was hiding your trash, okay? But I'm gonna show you where the trash can is. Normally, if we didn't have this, the trash can would probably go here. It would probably go here or on the edge of that cabinet. But instead, we designed this drawer that slides out. Look how deep it is. And then this is the trash can, and then that's where we keep the trash bags. Whenever we need it, slide it out. Now the cabinets are Ikea and the trash can is Ikea, so of course they fit perfectly. There is a lid that we could put on it, but it's just so easy to open the thing, put the trash and close instead of like opening the cabinet opening the lid, throwing something away, closing the lid, closing the thing. So we just leave the lid off. Very, very helpful kitchen hack to have the trash kind of tucked away. It just looks nicer. It also like increases the flow of your kitchen. So there you go, another hack. All right, another great kitchen hack that I wanted to share with you is this amazing and wonderful water filtration system. This is a Berkey. Is a Berkey filter. I believe this one is a two gallon uh, filter. They come in many different sizes. They even make small water bottles, but this filtration system filters out all pharmaceuticals, all like bacteria. Uh, we used it a lot when we lived in the RV, especially when we were traveling a lot. You never know like what the water quality is gonna be, but when we use this thing, the water tasted the same everywhere we went. It was really, really, really great. And then you can cook with it, you can drink it, uh, whatever you use uh, water for. I love this thing so much, especially if you ever have a situation where your city puts out like a, um, not a water ban, but like a boil notice where they're like, oh, we had a little mishap in the, in the treatment place and you gotta boil your water. You're gonna wish you had a Berkey. They're not that expensive. The filters last about three years or so, or three to five years, depending on how much you use it. We use it every single day. It makes coffee taste incredible. 
So I highly recommend it if you uh, brew your own coffee at home. So I'll put a little link below for my beautiful Berkey. I feel like Vanna White, my Berkey. <laughs> All right, next kitchen hack is actually a gadget. So I'm kind of in love with this gadget and I only bought it because it matched the fridge. So we bought this refrigerator. It is a cafe appliance and it matches the gas stove. And then I saw they had a coffee pot and it matched exactly. And our coffee pot happened to like stop working. It was only like brewing half a pot or something. And that one we had, I think, gotten for free. Like someone gifted it to us or someone was like getting rid of it and we were like, we'll take it. So it was time to get a new one. So I bought this one that matches with um, all the appliances. But then as I was like looking at it and researching it, I realized it's like a smart one. It connects, connects to your Wi-Fi. You can control it on the app. Like you can literally start it from your bed. Um, as long as you like put water in the reservoir and put coffee in there, um, you can put it on delays, you can start it, stop it, it'll give you a little notification like, hey, your uh, coffee is ready. It's so cute and fun. It does have like an auto program where you can like program it to start at a certain time. You can also control like the strength of your coffee. You know, some people like it like really thick and black and strong and some people like it a little bit on the lighter side. You can control that too. I just love that it's Wi-Fi capable. Actually, all of the cafe, cafe appliances are Wi-Fi capable and you control them through an app. So, um, for example, the other day we were coming home and I wanted to preheat the oven because then we had to cook something and then go somewhere else and take it. So. When we were at the store, I started to preheat the oven. When I got home, it was ready. I put the stuff in, cooked it, turned off the oven and left. Little things like that that I'm like, wow, this is just so great. So I'll put a link down below for the coffee pot, which to me is such a great hack. But then I'll also put links to um, the stove and the fridge if you want to do a little bit exploring and if you're uh, you know, in the market. They do come in other colors, but I just loved the white and, and gold kind of look it just felt really fresh and nice so yeah i'll put those in for you all right last little kitchen hack that i wanted to share with you is our dishwasher can you see the dishwasher it's hidden <laughs> i love hiding appliances and things with the same like face and facade of the cabinetry so that's actually our dishwasher but it looks kind of like this drawer we should have put other handles, right? That would have made it look more universal. But yeah, I'll show you. It's actually running right now. But that is our dishwasher. Isn't that so cool? I actually got the cabinets and the dishwasher from Ikea. I did kind of wish that I could get like the cabinet finishes for the fridge and freezer, but they, you, we would have had to get like a smaller one and they didn't do the that facade that cabinet cover in america and it was like a whole thing we would have to wait like up to a year for it and we were like mm, let's just get this one but i'm so glad we got the cafe uh one just because it's so big in my next video or one of the videos coming up this month or next month i'll do like a little like fridge or freezer tour to show you how i organize everything um, if you would like so yeah, those are my five kitchen hacks I hope it kind of helps you give you know get some ideas for your own kitchen And if you have any questions or anything of anything that you saw in the video uh, Put it down below and I'd love to answer them for you. So yeah, thanks for watching my five clever Kitchen hacks and I'll see you in the next video. Bye